it doesn't look like much, but... Uh, a black rock no bigger than your palm. Contains some of the oldest material, most primitive material in our solar system. So but this is no ordinary rock. It's not even from this planet. It's a small piece of the famous Sutter's Mill meteorite that lit up the California sky during its crash to Earth in April 2012. A lot of people that descended as soon as this meteorite fell. The Sutter's Mill meteorite shattered into 77 fragments, and Arizona State University was one of five institutions lucky enough to get a piece. This is huge. Other institutions are talking places like the Smithsonian Institution, the American Museum, I mean, institutions that basically have really fantastic collections of meteorites, but Arizona State has in its own right a really, really fantastic meteorite collection. We're in their class. Meteorite researcher Minakshi Wadwa shaved off a minuscule piece of the meteorite to study it close up. This happens to be a very, very unusual meteorite. It's a rare kind of meteorite, something we've not seen before. It's never been seen before because this meteorite is older than anything else you can find on Earth. So we're talking 4.6 billion years old. So that's, that's basically the age of our solar system as we know it. To give you an idea of how old this meteorite is, picture the age of our solar system, 4.6 billion years, as being represented by the length of my arm. To put that into perspective, all of human history could fit on the very tip of my fingernail and be erased with one swipe of a nail file. Holding something like this, you can really appreciate, you know, kind of the depth of time and really in some ways how insignificant the human species is really in the, in the whole scheme of things. And this meteorite is so old, scientists believe that the forces that formed it led to the organic chemistry that created life on Earth. So it really is, you know, a window into the past. I mean, the deep past. I mean, there's no rock on the Earth, of course, that's that old. For No 99, I'm Brittany Bade.